Hi everyone, welcome to module 14, Association Mapping, GWAS and Sequencing Data, which uh, is planning to take place July 27th through 29th of this summer. Uh, I'm Mike Wu, I'm an Associate Professor at the Fred Hutchinson Research Cancer Research Center. Um, my lab develops statistical and computational methods for all sorts of different high dimensional data. And we've been working in genetic association analysis for around the last decade or so. Hi everyone, I'm Tim Thornton. I'm a professor in biostatistics at the University of Washington. I'm a statistical geneticist and my research as well develops computational and statistical tools for analyzing large scale and complex genetic data. I've taught this course with Mike for a number of years. Um, and so we wanted to give you a brief introduction and description of module 14 for the Summer Institute of Statistical Genetics on genetic association testing and GWAS uh, with sequencing data. Uh, so in terms of what's in this module, from a really, really uh, high level perspective, what we're really trying to do is provide foundational background and training. So that's to say we are providing very much the fundamentals to provide you with the information that you need in order to, to understand and to do association testing with both common and rare variants, such as what you'd see from a genetic association study uh, these days. Um, operationally, we our course is very, very much hands-on, um, and so we're going to t uh, show you how to actually do this with real data, um, and this is both, again, for the GWAS component as well as for sequencing and sequencing. Uh, in doing so, we're going to introduce you to a variety of different tools. Uh, this includes both uh, Plink, which is commonly used for genetic, genetic association analysis, as well as a number of R packages that will be useful for actually doing the analyses and also for visualizing some of the results. So this module will cover a lot of topics. And so we'll first talk about genetic association testing with dichotomous traits. So it's like case control studies, and then we'll move on to association testing with quantitative traits. Um, we'll cover gene and pathway level analysis for association testing um, using um, many variants jointly. Um, we'll also discuss how to infer genetic answer to differences of population structure in the, the, the data, um, as well as how to account for it. We'll also develop um, tools and background on genetic association testing and structure samples that includes both relatedness and population structure and how to appropriately account for that in the analysis. Then from there, we're going to continue with a lecture on interaction analysis. And so here by interaction, what we're talking about is uh, effect modification. So gene environment interactions and also gene gene interactions or just epistasis. And after that, we're going to transition into the analysis of sequencing data. And so one of the major differences between, um, between say, uh, genome-wide association studies and sequencing is the availability of rare genetic variants. And so for the next few lectures, we're going to talk about different statistical tests and approaches for analyzing rare, that's to say low frequency genetic variants. So we'll talk first about collapsing tests and then move on to kernel tests and omnibus tests for rare variants. And then we'll conclude by talking about some issues such as power and sample size, um, some design considerations, as well as other emerging issues uh, in the field of sequencing data analysis. So for this, module will have um, 10 sessions over two and a half days. Um, the sessions will be uh, based on 10 stream lectures that will be available in advance. And then we'll have hands-on sessions where, we'll be, where we will be available with Mike and I um, for questions and going over uh, possible solutions for, th for the questions. And we'll also discuss approaches to some of the uh, more open-ended exercises. All right, and so with that, we look forward to seeing you this summer. Uh, please let us know if you have any questions. Feel free to email us. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Hope to see you soon.